Bukala joins me now to tell us what you have been talking about on our social media of choice. Mm. X Bukala. Jeffrey, speaking of breaking records, Nigeria may have broken the record as the country with the most number of increases in the pump price of petroleum products. And, you know, that forms the cross, crux of most of the conversations online uh, for about yesterday. Some of the things that you're talking about, uh, you know, is uh, the economy, the pump price of petrol, tricycle operators complaining about the pump price, uh, an over 50% increase in transportation costs as a result of the most recent increase in the pump price of petrol and uh, let's start with uh, a reaction to the reforms of the current administration coming from american business magnate bill gates of course that started yesterday and it's continuing today uh, this time what you're reacting to is the fact that he says that president bolatinobu's reforms are difficult but necessary and the first talking point is from decking sports who says but he's doing it in the wrong time with wrong strategy. Jeffrey. Oh, we have said a lot, so nothing said to that. Z2HTV says it needs to start materializing before the masses evaporate, evaporate from the earth. Well, when will that be? That's the question. I am OJ says they, they are not difficult if the corruption was not there, but they are reforming on the surface and looting on the inside it can't work even the reform self now audio timmy dot says everybody wants a better nigeria and a platter of god nigeria is not ready so, and yeah that's about it for that and the next one is about transportation costs going up by 50 percent which seems moderate concerning you know the current prices it may be higher than that i mean the margin yeah. of increase in the uh, transportation cost carlo okay carlo is the first person reacting this morning and he says it has increased by more than 50 percent cost of goods and products will follow then foodstuff will become too difficult for the ordinary nigerian to buy then pressures will mount on parents and breadwinners as schools resume parents will be more afraid and worries become high bp yeah, I believe that's what he's trying to say. Try and stay safe and strong. Don't let all this take your life. The anger of people is just the fact that government is not showing goodwill in terms of mm. their own, you know, austerity measure to show that as we're suffering, they too are ready to suffer with us. Mm. Until they do that, this sounds like a joke. Olamide says, we all know that once the fuel price goes up, everything else will follow. And the worst part is when the price increases, there's no going back. Mm. Salaries earners, salary earners, how on I take they survive? Uh, and Dami Great says 50% increment is really killing. But as usual, Nigerians will adapt and adjust. <sighs> okay, listen. James says it's way more than 50%. Beggar from my area is now 1,000 naira from 300 to five to 400 naira, I, I guess, prior to this time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wonder where the area is. How many meters really on the expressway does mm -hmm. this person travel? Uh, it could just be minimal and they're paying more than 500% more than the, usual, the, the old price that they paid before this current increase. And you know, there are no guarantees of a reduction in the pump price. Even no guarantees uh, on the exit from this situation, this current scarcity. That's if nothing happens this weekend, uh, going by the words of the Minister of State for Petroleum. Of course, we'll get to that. But this next one is from Onye Ijem, who says, see me trekking to my office. Everything, especially transportation, is now higher than ever. Okay, Shilo Bliss says, Nigerians, that this is the best time to call for government accountability, reforms to public servants, and well as well as, I guess that's what you wanted to say, as politicians using public transport, health, educational services, let them feel what the public feels. It's time to stop this expensive lifestyle these guys enjoy. And those are the things we're talking about. I've seen a president who chose to live in his house. I've seen a president who chose to drive in a, an old vehicle. Uh, but in Nigeria, they, uh, it's a different kettle of fish. Our president has a new jet. We're happy for him. But the optics are bad, mm -hmm. uh, especially at this time. The FCT used 21 billion, or the government used 21 billion to build the residence of a vice president, uh, that thing my, uh, that, that thing that economists call um, emotionally unintelligent expenditure at this time. And there are so many things we could look at uh, that the government, on one hand, is saying bare for now. On the other hand, they look reckless in their mm -hmm. expenditure. And when people are talking, you feel they are being critical and all of that. No. 
uh, is our commonwealth. Mm. Security and welfare of the citizens is your primary focal major responsibility. And the fear some of us have is the fact that um, we've, made, we've been made promises or people have promised us better life. Mm -hmm. Because they say Nigeria has been living a false life. Mm -hmm. uh, we defend the Naira, we subsidize fuel and all of the things they say we can't continue like that anymore. And that is costing NMPCL to mm -hmm. really stand out because they are now using their monies mm -hmm. to foot the bill. There's a wage bill of uh, six point something billion they are struggling under and all of that. At the end of the day, it looks like uh, was this really well thought through? Is this, they knew it's going to be difficult, but did they know it's going to be this difficult? A twin policy of FX and subsidy. Mm -hmm. So, the Nigerians need answers. That's the uh, truth. Nigerians, perhaps what is most painful for Nigerians, Nigerians is the fact answers. that, um, you know, you keep telling Nigerians mm -hmm. to tighten their belt, make sacrifices in the uh, interim until okay. we see the results of the reforms. Okay. But Very we're not saying quite the same from... Okay. Uh, the government officials. We understand that. I don't know who this crisis is, but uh, brace up for more fuel scarcity. NMPC official tell Nigerians. I don't know where this come from, but that seems to be. But the what, but let's to counter this again. The Mr. Lepobri, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, uh, oil has said he's going to taper down, uh, but he's not sure about the pricing. And there's a word they use that I'm not happy or comfortable with. Nigerians are worried. They say it will stabilize, it will moderate. It's, it, he that, says will, the price will find its level find when the, the level product where? becomes available. Where? And, and perhaps where this may be coming from, Jeffrey, is the report from yesterday that there are some vessels that have actually birthed of petroleum products at okay. the sea, but the NNPC is not allowing those vessels to be offloaded. You know, these such reports uh, will inevitably get out if you know the NNPC continues this okay. approach of not communicating adequately to Nigerians the real reasons okay. for this uh, continued we have just that we more. find Let's ourselves in. Also. Uh, Professor Imo says, why is government the National Assembly suddenly gone deaf when there is a palpable tension due to further hike in prices of petrol? And he listed all the things that are attendant consequence mm -hmm. of what is going on and there's a continuous collapse of our national grid. Uh, Bukola, I have the next one. Let's see how we uh, run this through. Speaking of National Assembly, of course, some members spoke against the increase yesterday, but the question is how far will their you know, opposition or how far with their criticism of the situation go? Mm. Not so far, because it doesn't change the price of uh, petroleum products. It doesn't move the needle at all for Nigerians. AfroConnect says, Omo, we will not brace up anything. We will hit the ground running with... Legedis Benz. The Legedis uh, Benz is walking, <laughs> resorting to walking, by the way, if you were wondering. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, well, there's a lot. So we would like to state that the NMPC has not commenced lifting of petrol product from our refinery. This is coming from Dangote Refinery. Uh, we're going to the next one, guys. So, Eberichi Michael, Eberichuku Michael says, this game they are playing with Nigerian citizens is, is what I don't understand. Because I have the next one from and, Jagaban uh, of Lagos. That's from the Jagaban of Joss, who says, I thought he said nationwide delivery will commence about two days ago. But he has so said that depends on the, the, the conversation. The conversation with the right. government. And to that has not quite happened yet. Tunde Ajere, Ajere Le says, what about other marketers? Why is, is it exclusively NMPC? Or so it's called bilateral monopoly. And they will uh, have to explain that. This one is from me, Lekon, who says, don't know why major marketers are excluded from lifting fuel. That's exactly the question. Uh, from uh, DR, that's Dangote Refinery. Is NNPCL the sole off taker of diesel too? Something is just not right. So mm. NNPC, these are the questions that Nigerians want you to answer. Uh, well, the explanation, and some experts are saying the reason is because if you look at the landing cost, by the time you process diesel or fuel FPMS for a certain price, the landing cost or the uh, when when you finish everything, it's about it should be about. Um, Landing cost doesn't necessarily mean importation. Everything that is accompanied in terms of charges and everything, mm. plus that landing cost, should be like 1,002. There's only an NPC that can sell for less of the less of the cost they buy it. No, but, but a, we're talking about purchasing from Dangote, who is producing at home now. That's what we're saying. There's no importation that's what we're element. Dangote still is an international business. Mm -hmm. It's an international business. Mm -hmm. So when you buy, when you do the mathematics, it will land at 1,002. If an NPC buys, even from a domestic manufacturer. Yeah, that's what they are saying. That's what the experts are saying. But the, I wonder well, if that <laughs> makes sense to you, Jeffrey. But it just it no, definitely doesn't there, make there sense. Are, to there me. are like four types of cost that oh. comes into it. It's an international product i'm not giving a, i'm just explaining what they're explaining it's not as if we're supporting what they are doing mm -hmm. so <laughs> there's a lot to say uh but where we have issues with all of this is at the end of the day when the honorable minister for petroleum uh, says uh it will find its level it will moderate 
Dollar is now moderating at one five one six from seven to four hundred to seven hundred. Yeah. Is Just petrol going to moderate at one thousand one two? Nigerians won't take it. Well, that's the conversation. We're going to be asking the guys uh, from the Labour Party before we get into the issues around their party, the party politics. That will be up next. Join us again. <laughs> Thank you.